Each day on Farmer Brown's farm, most of the animals spend the day eating, sleeping, or getting into trouble. Only Little Red Hen can be found cheerily moving about, pick-pecking for food, and cluck-clucking happy chicken songs. In fact, hens cheery pick-pecking and cluck-clucking often bothered the other lazy animals on the farm. Little Red Hen, stop pick-pecking while I'm eating, snorted Pig, who guarded his food trough nervously. Little Red Hen, stop cluck-clucking. I'm sleeping, <sighs> yawned Cat in the middle of another nap. Little Red Hen, stop blocking my view. I'm spying, hissed Rat, always looking for trouble. Not wanting to bother her greedy, lazy, and spying friends, Little Red Hen wandered out to the fields. There she found a small pile of golden brown seeds. I wonder what kind of seeds these are, Little Red Hen wondered aloud. Perhaps the other animals will help me find out. Little Red Hen carried the seeds back to the barn and asked, who will help me learn about these seeds? Not I, snorted Pig. Not I, yawned Cat. Not I, hissed Rat. Little Red Hen brought the bag of seeds to Farmer Brown, who told her they were wheat seeds. On her way back to the barn, Hen remembered that wheat seeds needed to be planted. Perhaps the other animals will help me plant them, she thought. Who will help me plant these seeds? asked Little Red Hen when she returned to the barn. Not I, snorted Pig. Not I, yawned Cat. Not I, hissed Rat. Well, I suppose it won't be too much work to plant them myself, said Little Red Hen and headed toward the field. Each day she watered the seeds she had planted in the ground. Before long, the wheat began to grow. One day, Little Red Hen realized that the wheat was tall enough to be harvested. Tired from her trips to water it every day, she hoped her animal friends might want to help now that much of the work was already done. Who will help me cut the wheat? Little Red Hen asked the barn animals. Not I, snorted Pig. Not I, yawned Cat. Not I, hissed Rat. Although she was tired, Little Red Hen didn't want her entire summer's work to go to waste, so she grabbed a sickle and cut the wheat down herself. When she finished, she remembered that wheat must be threshed. Perhaps my friends will see how tired I am and want to help me now said Little Red Hen. Who will help me thresh this wheat? asked Little Red Hen in her tired voice. Not I, snorted Pig. Not I, yawned Cat. Not I, hissed Rat. Little Red Hen knew that without threshing it, the wheat would be no good. So, despite how tired she was, she threshed the wheat and placed it in a large sack. Now that the wheat is ready to go to the mill, certainly one of my friends will help, Little Red Hen said. Who will help me carry the wheat to the mill? asked Little Red Hen. Not I, snorted Pig. Not I, yawned Cat. Not I, hissed Rat. Little Red Hen rested a bit, then dragged the heavy sack of wheat to the mill. There, the wheat was turned into fine flour. Little Red Hen thanked the millers, who gave her their famous recipe for fresh baked wheat bread. On her way back to the barn, Little Red Hen imagined that all of the barn animals would be as excited about making bread as she was. 
Who will help me bake bread? asked Little Red Hen when she returned. Not I, snorted Pig. Not I, yawned Cat. Not I, hissed Rat. Since this was the last step, Little Red Hen decided she couldn't quit, even if no one else wanted to help her. She kneaded the dough and placed the loaf into the warm oven. Knowing the bread would take hours to rise, she headed back to her coop for a quick rest. Little Red Hen awoke hours later to the drifting aroma of freshly baked bread. Quickly, she pick-pecked and cluck-clucked her way toward the oven, waking up all of the animals as she passed them on her way toward the delicious smell. Just as Little Red Hen pulled out the perfect loaf of bread from the oven, the other barn animals walked in. Pig rubbed his round belly. Cat licked her paws. Rat squeaked in delight. Little Red Hen, used to asking questions, continued in her usual fashion. Who will eat this bread? she asked. I will, oinked Pig. I will, meowed Cat. I will, squeaked Rat. Surely anyone who has helped me may have a slice. Let me think. Which of you worked with me? asked Little Red Hen. Not I, cried Pig. Not I, frowned Cat. Not I, pouted Rat. Well, I guess there is only one question left to ask, giggled Little Red Hen. However will this whole loaf fit inside my tummy? And with that, Little Red Hen answered her very own question, gobbling up every bite of the freshly baked bread all by herself. That night, Pig, Cat, and Rat went to sleep with empty tummies, but their minds were stuffed with new thoughts. They understood that if they continued to be lazy, they might not eat in the future. Together with Little Red Hen, they all agreed to share the hard work and rewards equally.